Hey, I'm Oli from the London Skull Community. I've got Big D and Albert Trotsky with me. We are doing commentary for the Wembley Open 2023 presented by MVP Discords. Let's go. Johnny, Adam, here we go. Front nine, let's go. All right, we've got Rob with a two-shot lead above Jakob and a three-shot lead above Ryan. All right, this is a hole one. It's 65 meter par three, dog leg to the right. Preferred play would be a, an, a big Anheuser with a flexing out back to the basket. First throw of the lead card. Just doing an easy layup. Boring, easy layup. Playing it safe. It's the right thing to do. Jakob is going with the alternative variant of the shot with a sky forehand Iso. Just OB, unfortunately. I'm really sorry, Ryan, but I missed your drive. Sorry, yeah. buddy. Adam Keen also going forehand. A little bit too low, a little bit more height than that. Yeah, also going, OB. going OB as well. The two forehands went OB. Yeah. Just saying, it's not a forehand. Backhand here from Johnny. Well, it did play as the third hardest hole of the day. Interesting. Although it's one of the shorter ones, but. Great shot from Rob. A little wide, but it'll do. So it's so smooth by Ryan. Yeah, lovely approach there. Got Johnny up here. Second shot. A little bit too high. Ah, should be close enough. Clutching the wind, I think, man. So it's Jack up for three. Can you put it in? Ooh, what an aggressive play. Big run there. <laughs> this is Adam Keane for three again. Can he save power? <clears throat> Yeah, interesting fact about this hole, if you ace it, you've got the basket free. That's not quite true. Got 100 quid. Oh, uh, you well, changed it. Let's change it. Well, I changed it because not if two people aced it, then you can't really give them half a bar. Cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has and to change. <laughs> yeah, and only two birdies, and they were both in round one. Yeah. And with that, we get a score update. Rob's still in the lead with three shots above a tied second place. Jakob and Ryan with minus six as we move into hole two. Nice long 184 meter par four. Big open fairway. Really exposed to the wind here. You need two beautiful drives and you might be lucky enough to get a birdie. Unlike whoever was being filmed here. <laughs> Is this a backhand, backhand hole, or backhand forehand, or forehand, forehand? Personally, I was for, forehand, forehand. Okay, and Dave? Well, because of my elbow injury, I was a backhand, backhand, but yeah. I think the ideal play, which Oli does, is backhand, forehand. Yeah, that's what I would do, for sure. Looks like there's a bit of wind for these guys here. They're just throwing it out there and it turns over. And both Ryan and Johnny are struggling here. Ooh, going to those bushes is quite dangerous. It looks like it's just long enough, so it should be safe. Yeah, previous hole over there, hole one is OB, so they were really kissing the boundary there. Jakob with an absolute smash. Yeah. Straight down the middle, just yeah, this one. kid has some arm on him. Adam here. Looks like his disc might be turning 
sorry, fading into the trees. Yeah, he's, I think he's gone quite deep into those bushes there. Yeah. Rock for two, he's getting it out. out. Pretty hard pitch there, but should set him up nicely. Ryan, for the backhand forehand action, you must have uh, for yeah, he's listening to us, listening to my tactics. Yeah, seems to work. Johnny for two. Oh, Ooh, just catches the bushes short. Yeah. Oh, and he drops his beanie. Oh dear. Hopefully he got that back. Yakov yeah, opting for backhand, backhand. Is he going to pay off? Ooh. Short. Oh, it just skips out, but it should be close enough. A roll for a nice backhand here. Roll. Cut roll. Nice Shouldn't just be roll. circle sage. Yeah, maybe that helped him out a bit. Johnny for three. Nice and high and wide. Is it close enough? A little Ooh. short, but we'll see how close that is. This is Adam Keane for two. Yeah, it's just getting out of the rough. Those pushes. Big ask for two from there. His third shot. Wide enough, I think. This is Rob for Ah. Oh, just take a Ryan for Birdie. Just yeah. low. See how that disc just got stuck there. For Par. Oh, so close for Johnny. This is Jacob for Birdie. Oh, what a bad what? roll. Really punished. Outside the circle. What a roll. He didn't deserve that. This is for par. Can he save it from outside? Um, a birdie look turns into a bogey. That's really bad. Oh no! And, uh, That's also got a uh, hitting off the band. Missing his par putt. There you go. Bogey from Rob. Bogey from Jakob. Seems like they're all struggling on this hole. You guys birdie or bogey this one? I'm pretty sure I bogeyed both times. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Tough hole, eh? Pretty sure it's hard. Bogey from Adam as well. Still tapping par from Ryan, making it look easy. Hole number three. Pretty short, 59 meters straight ahead. We've got a two shot lead from Rob. Ryan's catching up, and Jakob's right behind him. It's pretty much a straight shot, a little bit of a forehand from where the tee is on this layout. It is rough both on the left and the right hand side. And if you go for the ace run, it is rough long as well. So you really have to be accurate with your shot here. It does play as the third easiest hole on the course. So all these guys should get birdie. Yeah, right, you know exactly what I like to do, just forehanding this hole. Nice little flick at the start. and come up a bit oh, short beauty. there. Oh, Robert with a nice turn over there. This is Johnny, I like the height on that. Is it time to fly? Nice. He lands in the pro bush there. This is Jakob. Ooh, a bit early release. Oh, and it doesn't, doesn't give it a proper run. That's unfortunate. Deep in the rough there. We've got Adam here. Is that enough Anheuser to hold? Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, great shot. What a line. That's where I'm going Yeah, I'm going for a tap and fall. Pretty much the best outcome from that scramble there. Ryan missing the putt, fortunately, for Birdie. And we have our first Birdie of the round, all three. Well heard. Johnny's birdie. Oh no! Another band hit. Yeah, it looks like um, Robert's really just running away at the moment. Good look from Adam. Nice oh, confident putt there. Well, the minus one. And oh, our par putts here. So only two birdies from the lead card on this hole. Slightly surprising, you think you'll see a star frame on this hole, but. Um, just missing the putt, so going off the fairway. Happens to the best of us, eh? <laughs> Just counting out the scores here before playing hole number four. Yeah. Three rounds. Oh, three disc. Yeah, and we are coming up to hole number four now. 
It's a 57 meter par three. It's just playing on the par today at 2.84. It's just a nice straight shot surrounded uh, with a hazard playing as an island hole. It's roughly 12 to 15 meters uh, island hole. Great shot from Rob there. Really good. Adam with his Jakob here throwing his Eclipse Envy from Axiom Discs. Nice yeah. shot there. Oh, look at that spread. Yeah, right next to each other. This is Adam. Way high. Oh, it's like in the man, uh, outside the circle. It's got a bit of a headwind there pushing it up. Can he save the par? Oh, oh he, because he went into the hazard. So this must be tapping for double bowling. Yeah. So wow. It seems good. like it. Yeah. Rob for birdie. Oh no, oh, air ball. Big nerves are creeping in. You're in the lead, second round. Oh, it definitely plays a factor. Mm -hmm. That plus the wind. It's not a good concoction. All right, Ryan for birdie, Jakob for birdie. Oh no. Just hits, just bounces off the cage on the side. Kane's not doing their job of catching the discs. He's composing himself really well though. You know, most people just get really angry or frustrated. He's <laughs> keeping calm. Nice bird from Johnny there. Yeah, if that was me, that basket would be ripped out of the ground. Slightly too late there. Double bogey. Ah, that was, that's Ouch. brutal on such on a short one. hole. And laser, laser from Rob there. That's one. Moving on to hole five. Score update. Score update. That's Rob ahead by two strokes ahead of Ryan there, who's two strokes ahead of Jakob. As we go into hole five, 120 meter par four. Got a lovely little gap here between these two trees. Got a man though, but you really shouldn't be missing it. Uh, if you can make that gap, got a sort of covered, covered fairway there. No? Definitely a birdie chance on this one if you have a good drive. Ryan told me here he was laying up with a mid range, but short. that mid range oh. just smashed up. Yeah, it was a driving layup. That's no layup either from Johnny there. Yeah, get through. That guy's going over the gap. Oh, anyway, oh, anyway. That is great shot. So this is a fairly short par four, only 120 something meters, but we a little bit longer because it's slightly uphill. Wow. Any eagles in this hole? Anyone get in too? Not me. No? <laughs> Not How about you? Personally. No, no? no. I, think, I think the mistake most people do is attack this hole too much rather than lay up and lay up and... Like that? Tap yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah what happens. exactly. That's what happens. I like to go with a nice flex forehand through the gap. Yeah, he had a nice break from that tree as well. Yeah, some, some yeah, that's key. That's right good. The trees. His second shot was incredible. Really good shot. Ryan for two. Is that the zone again? Yeah. That thing just is not turning. Jakob for two. Next to the pin. Part. Johnny for two. Next to the pin. Part. These guys know how to play this all. Make it look so easy. We haven't even got to Rob's drive yet. This is him for two. Need a little pitch up, job done. Oof. Easy birdie. This is Ryan's third shot for birdie. Oh, oh no, that was easy bird. <laughs> Sorry, man. Walking okay. up, buddy. That is rough. You need to smile and laugh it off. What else can we do? Oh, oh, I don't know. This fell looked like a mist 
wrestler. You're going to tap in there, Birdie. Birdie from Jakob. Birdie from Johnny. Make this hole look really easy. Par from Adam and par from Ryan. Birdies and pars all round. Not too bad. Moving on to the next one, hole six. We've got a score update here with Rob taking one more shot on Ryan, extending the lead to three. Jakob also catching up. And uh, John is doing really well. Adam, not so good so far. Hole number six, 190 meters steep uphill. You've got a man that's the right of this tree here. And then you've got a hazard golf green just below the basket. So you've got to be careful for your putting. And there's OB long as well. Johnny's up here. Smash! Yeah, it's going well, to get down or up rather, because the uphill is pretty brutal in this one. It's hard to see in camera, but it is uphill. Second, especially the second shot is uphill. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, really good try, so past the bunker to your left. That's why I like this hole, because it rewards players that can really throw far. Like this guy here, Yako. Oh, yeah. Absolute Ooh, smash, gets full shot. turn, full flex. Hey. Right. Wow! Yeah, that's a perfect drive there. Ryan's throwing his cloud regger too. Absolutely smash as well. Perfect. We've got Adam Keane. Looks so effortless. Yes. So easy. Yes. So yes. smooth. Look how far this goes. Still flying. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, what was the textbook Heiser flip? There's only one birdie on this hole, um, and it was actually by Adam Keane. So we'll see whether it was in this round or the first round. I just say par four for this hole. Really devious choice from a course designer. <laughs> it's quite a difficult hole, averaging at 4.71. Um, so. There's sure there's an argument to be made that it should be a par five, and then it would be played under par. I think the conditions of the course had a big factor to that score. If not all this mud up there, which made your run up really difficult, I'm pretty sure that would be playing closer to 4.2 maybe. Yeah. I think the distance makes a big difference, and it being uphill. So even if it was perfect conditions, it'd still be quite a far way. So you need two really good throws just to get inside circle two definitely um it's 190 meters but plays like a three or 400. <laughs> this is rob's set third shot puts it under the basket yeah he's happy with it look at that Jakob for two his second shot just hit this tree and dropped down unfortunately it just seemed to change there he went for the backhand and now he's going forehand i don't know why he changed last minute but ah didn't pay off yeah, I, I think, think you just have to commit to your first uh, option in your mind. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll just take your time a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Ryan doing his thing. Yeah, it should be fine, it should be close enough. I can tap that in for par. This is Johnny for birdie. Ooh. So close. Just wrestling the cage. This is Jakob for birdie. Underneath the pin for par. Here's Adam Keane in two. He's inside the circle for two shots. Yeah, like, wow. like crazy. Yeah, I think you just have to give him a clap for in these conditions. It's really tough. Come on, Adam, tap it in. Oh my god. Oh no. I really hate to see it. So I think so much. I think that was, that was the part which could get him going for the round. Yeah, it's not been so lucky so far. But this view is why we call it the Wembley Open. You can see Wembley's stadium in the background. And uh, yeah, you just see it there to your left. So majestic. Yeah, that's definitely the highlight of this course. Tapping in the pars. Yeah, par, par. Tapping in his par, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, move on to the next hole. Score update here for Holland Observer. Yeah, we've got Rob at minus 10, uh, running away from Ryan and Jakob, which 
um, of four and five shots behind him. Here we have hole number seven. It's a downhill 112 meter par three with a very tight OB to your left and a very rough to your right. And at the bottom next to the pin within the circle, you do have a hazard green. So you do have to watch out where you're driving today. Johnny's going forehand, ending up on the right hand side. A little bit of bad skid, but it's definitely safe. Uh, that's what I play as well. Just keep it to the right and you should be fine. Well, Rob going backhand here. Just gets a fortunate cut roll. Oh no, and cuts out OB. Adam Keane going backhand as well. Is it going to fade out? Just keeps going. Just keeps oh, going. It goes long into the trees. Lunged by the brush. This is Jakob on the forehand. Absolutely smashed it. Today we're in the hazard though. That's looking Ooh. really good, I would say. It's very close. We'll have to see if we get close enough, but it's down there next to the hazard, next to the basket. Ryan? Going a little bit shorter, it's definitely Playing much safer. Definitely safe. I think that's a clever play to throw the forehand but less distance so you stay away from the hazard. Oh no, does it, he go into the hazard here? Yes, he does. Ooh, it's going to affect the scores though. Mm. Well, he's looking at a double bogey at least now. Yeah, that's not good for Ryan. Going Ryan. Ooh, almost throws it in. Really good run. Yeah, that form of his is just majestic. Good up. From the brush. Oh, he does have a look in, in between those twigs. Makes the right choice there, just scrambling out. Is it well for double bogey? See, so Jakob didn't make the hazard, which I think was only added to punish. Uh, and does he get his birdie? Let's see. Oh, what a confident oh, path for Ray. That's going to be a really big catch up on uh, Robert there, because he's going to just tap him for triple bogey, I, I'm assuming. Do you guys think it, the press is getting through now, or do you think he just got an unfortunate roll and an unfortunate approach? I mean, there's basically two mistakes. The first one went OB and the second one went in the hazard. Yeah. So. On his layup, he did not commit at all as well. Yeah. Do you think it's the pressure, or do you think it's just got unlucky? Unlucky on the first OB, and on the second one, I think the pressure just got to him, because yeah. he knew he's losing strokes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can keep a cool head up for sure. As well. Okay, a score update now. Rob's still in the lead, but only by one now to Jakob. Yeah, it really tightens up the whole the whole board here as we go into hole number eight. A cheeky little 53 meter par three, slightly uphill. Got OB to your right hand side to protect the other disc golfers. Third play here is a nice nice backhand, maybe over the OB. Oh. Look at the flags, that's putting a lot of wind on this one here. Yeah, you, you have to watch out to not go too long as you do have a golf green up there which is playing as hazard. Oh, it's quite high. Oh, great shot. Yeah, I think the best play here is just to attack that hill and just stop on it. Definitely. If you go too aggressive and go past the basket, you end up having a death putt coming back down towards the OB and it's downhill. So Yeah, and then you do have hazard uh, with hole number four as well yeah. uh, behind the basket. Just aim for the hill basically. That's great. Just Great like that. shot. That's, that's exactly that's what you want. After that triple bogey, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, taps this up. Yeah, you have to say they're not perfect. Ryan for his birdie look. Just off the rim. Johnny for his birdie look. They're all struggling on this one. Must be a lot of wind. It yeah, is a tough putt. Tough yeah, and putt especially with the putting yeah. up, the wind just picks it up straight away. Great bird from Rob there, being able to bounce back from the last hole. Yeah, making up that deficit. I think if you just start gathering on that bogey train, it really affects the rest of the round. But if you can bounce back straight away, forget about it and move on. Fifty-three okay. meters only mm. with the wind.
score update on hole nine. Rob's taking one stroke on the lead here, so he's two strokes on the lead. And that's what we want to see. Hole number nine. You've got a Mando to the left of the first trees here, so playing to the right. You've got OB on the right-hand side. We're not playing to the first basket, but to the second basket here. 105 meters. Plays as the fifth most difficult, with only six birdies in MA1. Let's see if these guys can birdie them. Right. Ooh, he looks like he's pushing the OB there. This is Ooh, way yeah. too understable. He's I mean, it's got a lot more fade. Yeah, you need to play with uh, a very overstable disc on this hole. This is Jakob with his PD, which is an overstable speed 10 driver. Yeah, I think that's, that's a really good choice of disc on that hole. You've got Johnny here with his, I want to say, FX3, I believe. Oh, yeah. I'm short of the hole there. Adam Key. He throws this disc so a oh, lot. Yeah. I never remember what it is. Yeah, you know what it is, cover down. He glided all past those trees, that's why for a mid. Next up, we've got Ryan. He's probably throwing yeah. his. I was going to say his. A tower breaker too, but I don't think that's. That, that is, is good. looking line. really nice. Oh. That's what you want. <laughs> yeah, Robo just laying up from the OB throw. Probably take a bogey from there. Johnny for birdie. Oh, I, I, think the, I think the wind just killed that yeah. down. Yeah. Ryan for birdie. Oh, oh, that's what you want. Great cut. <sighs> Ryan here representing <laughs> London Disc Golf community. Oh, whoop, let's go. Ooh, ooh. Got Adam tapping in his birdie. Oh, tapping in. <laughs> Quite a long time. Wow, he almost had it though. Yeah, I think Adam's been very unfortunate with all these chains and basket hits today. Pretty sure he would have been in the lead if he got all of those in. Yeah, at least three or four in the front nine they missed. Yeah. Tapping in their bar. And this is the front nine of the Wembley Open presented by MEP Disc Sports. Uh, thank you very much for watching and tune in to the back nine. We've got a quick score update for you here with Jakob, Ryan and Rob tied for the lead with Johnny only two behind and unfortunately Adam not having the best round. I want to say thank you to MEP Disc Sports, Luft Disc, Sports and Electivity Centre and London Disc Golf Community. My name is Ollie. I'm a Trotsky. I'm Big D. Signing out.